Hello everyone, this is a new headband I have knitted, I would like to show you how I've made it. Welcome to my channel Anna Vanilla Arts, I'm Anna Vanilla and welcome, very much welcome, uh, thank you for stopping by and where we can learn things together and share everything that I know over the years everything i've learned over the years i share it with you with drawing knitting croquetting knotting and all sorts of things that i could do i'm happy to share with you and obviously the patterns that i use um, in my knitting and knotting and you will never find anywhere else because i have created myself and it's my source of knowledge and uh, you'll never find it anywhere else apart from my channel so welcome in making garments from my patterns and i hope you would love it i hope you would enjoy my channel where you can do a lot of beautiful things which i love doing and i love sharing with you and this is one of those headbands with acrylic yarn pink color which is fantastic the pattern is beautiful is, is stunning and it's so easy to make you would not believe it's actually as easier than you can ever think so if you are a beginner you are welcome to learn about this technique about this pattern and we can do headbands together for this summer. Um, my needles are number five. Uh, uh, this is acrylic yarn in pink. And we start. The first loop I always knit it with a front stitch. So that when I do headbands I always knit it with a front stitch so that the edging would look always harmonized and nice and straight without curving. Then we do yarn over and then we see two loops here. We need these loops with a front stitch. These two loops with a front stitch. Then yarn over two loops. We knit it with a front stitch. Yarn over the needle. Two loops. We knit it with a front stitch. If it's difficult for you to grab these two, I, I have my own technique where I put yarn over and I can slightly make it larger both of the loops before I knit them or for example yarn over the needle and I grab these two loops and I roll it roll it like so over the needle and it creates the same effect the same pattern yarn over the needle two pearls we need with a front stitch sorry about saying that uh, two pearls what i meant is two loops so yarn over the needle two loops we need it with a front stitch yarn over the needle two loops we need it with a front stitch like the needle two loops with a front stitch and the last one we need it with a front stitch to create this effect where uh, the edging is straight and beautiful for our headband so we need it the first one with a front stitch yarn over the needle again 
and we need these two loops with a front stitch. So, so as you can see, first row and second row, you need the same. All you need to do is to do a yarn over the needle, you hold it, and then you need these two loops together with a front stitch. Yarn over the needle, two loops together with a front stitch. Yarn over the needle, two loops with a front stitch. We make one with a front stitch. And that's how we need first row, second row, third row, and so on. So it's very simple to make. It's, um, it creates a very beautiful open work pattern. It's breathable. It makes a headband very breathable. And it's fantastic. I love it. I hope you love it too and I hope it's uh, something you can master easy and we can share and see what how it turned out for you who had band and we can chat about so please leave a comments below please put likes and that's how we need it so we're saying front stitch the first one then yarn over the needle and then we need these two with the front stitch yarn over the needle this two with a front stitch and that's all you need to, to know to do this headband successfully so thank you very much for watching this is how I close um, this headband so what I do I take two loops first one and the second and then pass through both of them with a yarn to create one loop this loop we put it back and then we grab the second loop and we grab it through both of them then we put it back on the needle and now two loops together the loop over the needle we take the second loop and we knit it with a front stitch like so put it back and we need them together like this and now the loop so it's two loops and we need them with a front stitch make sure it's not too tight and neither too loose so we take two we pass through the middle again again two and as we see it's a very carefully made edging for stitching later on And 
we do to the end of this row the same way. As you can see, I have closed all the loops here at the top and now we've got the last loop. Um, I cut the measurements of uh, where I want to sew it and it's about three times the amount of yarn that you need to consider before you, you cut for it to be enough to actually um, sew together. So we tie it for loop now, like so. Then I take this. Both sides. I, I stitch always on the front, never um, inside out, so I do it always on the front. And so on. This is the stitch at the back. Of, um, on the back of um, headband and this is how I hide my yarn so I find some stitches like uh, loops and and I hide the yarn through them. So I make a knot and a knot so it doesn't unravel like so. And then I just hide it nicely through the loops. This need this um, yarn we cut it off and it will look invisible. This is the end result is a headband in pink with acrylic yarn size of needles number five and as you can see it has a very beautiful open work pattern and it's stretchy it's breathable it's semi-transparent as you can see it's very beautiful it stretches nicely on the head and let me show you how it looks on the mannequin this is how it looks on the mannequin it covers the ears nicely so it covers the ears this is the stitch at the back but I've done my careful stitch 
this headband I think it turned out very successful I think you would agree with me look at this open work pattern that comes through this is at the back this is on the front it's breathable it's nice it's uh, it will keep you warm if it needs to keep you warm it will hold the hair in place if it's windy outside it's just fantastic fantastic headband i hope you like it enough to make one yourself and we can have something to show after this as you can see is fantastic it's beautiful it's large enough for my head my mannequin's head and the color is very successful it's very beautiful um this is the edge i mean the ending where i've hidden all the yarns odds and ends and i think it's fantastic i love it i don't regret making it that's for sure so i hope you're going to like it enough to make one yourself and hopefully you can share it with me and show me how successful it turned out for you the pattern as you can see is easy is very easy quick to do and you can create as beautiful as this in a couple of hours yeah couple of hours all it takes you to make one like so so thank you very much for watching and subscribing and see you soon in the next video and please have a look at my other tutorials and hope you're going to like them please click like and comment below what you like and let's have fun together on Anna Vanilla Arts channel I'm Anna Vanilla and see you soon bye